Hello, my name is Harry and you are on the Harry Speaks channel. Let's learn English together. The topic of today's lesson is fruits. We will learn several names of fruits and learn how to describe the taste and appearance. What's the first thing you think of when you hear the word fruit? Do you fancy a juicy orange or a red watermelon? Or you remember the incredible benefits of fruits? Maybe you associate fruits with hot summer days. Did you know that at the beginning of 18th century all fruits of trees were called vegetables? Today many agree that fruits should form the basis of the human diet. It is recommended to consume at least 400 grams of fruits and vegetables per day. Total, there are more than 2,000 types of edible and unedible fruits on our planet. And of course, we can't learn them all in one lesson. Today I will tell you about the fruits that I like. First, I will show you fruits and tell you what they are called. And at the end of the lesson, there will be practical tasks. Let me remind you how to work with my videos. The first time you watch the video, you should repeat after me words and sentences. If you do not have time to follow, then you can always pause the video. The second time, you write out new words in your personal dictionary. I will make a separate video on how to keep a dictionary and learn new words. The link to it will be below this video. Now, let's get started! Do you love fruits? I have no doubt that you do. All people in the world love fruits. I love juicy, ripe and sweet fruits. I love sugar watermelon. I often buy watermelon. Watermelon is a fruit with a variety of tastes, including bitter, sweet and sour. It is the bitter qualities of the fruit that prevent the sweetness from being overpowering, and the sourness makes the bitter sensations more acceptable. I also like mango. Mango is usually sweet, although the taste and texture of the flesh varies depends on the variety. Some have a soft, fleshy, juicy texture, similar to an overripe plum, while others are firmer, like melon or avocado. I love seedless grapes. Dark red berries are not very large, with fleshy pulp, the skin is not felt when eating. The taste is sweet and sour, harmonious, the aroma is neutral. Fruit Market Nectarine Nectarine is called an improved version of peach. The nectarine has a denser pulp, it is sweeter. Pear The pear has creamy, tender flesh. These pears look unripe. Peach 
These are very juicy ripe peaches. The peach is a soft, juicy, fleshy fruit. Melon The aroma of melon is complex and beautiful. All the sweetness of endlessly long summer days and evenings is concentrated in the smell alone. Cavano This fruit grows in New Zealand. It tastes like kiwi, melon and cucumber at the same time. Carambola Carambola is a crunchy fruit. The taste of carambola fruits remembers the taste of juicy plums, apples and grapes at the same time. Lime Limes are green with a slight bitterness and are born in the tropics. I make hot weather drinks from limes. Lemon Lemons and limes are very similar. Lemons are yellow, sour and grow in the subtropics. I like to drink black tea with sugar and lemon. Grape This grape variety is large and red. The grape has a dense skin and pleasant perfume aroma. Watermelon The pulp of watermelon resembles cotton candy. Now I will cut the caramel fruit. Carambola fruits have a glossy surface. Ripe fruit in the cut forms a five-pointed star. Cavano fruit grows in New Zealand. Cavano fruit is yellow, orange or red in color. 
with an incredible hard leathery peel covered with soft spines. Inside the cavano fruit is a jelly-like green pulp with numerous pale green seeds. This is my fruit plate. On the edge lays a golden kiwi. Dragon fruit Dragon fruit Dragon fruit Pattaya. The fruit's texture is sometimes likened to that of the kiwi fruit because of its black crunchy seeds. Grapefruit. Grapefruit. The grapefruit is a subtropical citrus tree known for its relatively large, sour to semi-sweet, somewhat bitter fruit. Fruits are very good for health, plus they are delicious. Eat fruits as often as possible. I hope you enjoy our lesson. I try to make it bright and interesting. Now it's time for your practice. Do some tasks to better remember new words. And if you like this video, Please support me with like and comment. I will be very pleased. First of all, please answer my questions. I ask the question first and leave a pause at the end to give you time to answer. Say your answer out loud. And then I answer the question myself to give you a sample answer. 
Let's start. What is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is mango. Do you like oranges or peaches more? I like oranges. They are very juicy. Do you often eat fruit? Yes, I eat fruits often. I eat fruit almost every day. Do you buy Cavano in your city? Cavano is sold in my city. Cavano can be bought at the market or at the grocery store. Next task. I will give a description and you need to guess what kind of fruit it is named. Name it out loud. It's a citrus fruit. It is often eaten with sugar because its flesh is slightly bitter. It's a grapefruit. This fruit is edible, but rarely eaten. It has a pleasant smell and a slight sour taste. This fruit is often added to baked goods. Also, some people add circles of its fruit to tea. It's a lemon. This is a rare exotic fruit. It looks very beautiful and looks like a dragon's egg. Its flesh is white or pinkish with numerous small seeds. It's a dragon fruit. That's all my assignment for today. Thank you for taking this English lesson with me. Subscribe to my channel to learn English in a simple and accessible way. Your homework is to write an essay about your favorite fruit. The essay should contain from 10 to 15 sentences. Describe what your favorite fruit looks like, what it tastes like, what it smells like. Tell us how you like to eat this fruit. Do not forget that English is not only memorizing new words, but also constant practice. The ideal option will be if you will find yourself a pen friend from whom English is native language. With such a friend, you can practice leaf communication skills by calling via Skype or Zoom. This I say goodbye to you and wish you a pleasant learning English.